Hello, hello, everybody. It is me, Neon Icy Wings, and we are going to be continuing our adventure here today in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I just figured I might as well begin again. Well, begin again. Begin this, try and get to a good point where I can grind on the Hades Cup. Maybe even show the Hades Cup to a certain degree, because but the real reason I'm going to unlock it is to actually grind on it so that I can prepare for the diddly dang super bosses, because those are going to be a and those are going to be a pain. Oh no. But yes. Let us go on, because I think this is the this might be the way. This might be the way. Actually, no, I think this might yeah, this goes to uh the lift. I don't exactly know what the lifts do. Exactly. But I do know that the way we want the game wants us to go is through that emblem door. We got the emblems by doing things like moving a statue, pushing a statue off to its doom, and other such things. And one thing that got me motivated to try and do this somewhat quickly or start up the stream somewhat quickly is because, dear God, we, this is a... You can just show us the highlights. You don't have to show us the entire movement of the universe. And in fact, it doesn't seem like it, uh... Oh. No? Is there anywhere we can go? I don't think there is. Wait. Then I use gravity. Or gravara. Context stuff. And I got Osmos G. Yes, another G thing that I'm never going to use. One of these days, it's going to... All of this waiting just to say... Yeah. G-string. This game is weird sometimes. Why must we see the entire thing? We do not need to know. We do not need to see it all! We do not! No more! But yes, the one thing that motivated me to really begin this Kingdom Hearts beginning to ding to ding ding early-ish. It's basically within my starting realm of five to six, and that's kind of what I aim for. But oh, I can't do that, but I want magic! Give me magic! I want my magic back! But is because if I finish... Ah, chest. I did not know you exist. Open. If I finish this, if we get to a... Oh, I forgot. We did a thing and that spawned a chest, I think, maybe. I don't know. The world is mad. If I finish this section of the Diddly D quick enough, I can go and play more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and I enjoy that. Examine as I... Create the Heartless. I think it would have been nice if it would just auto-do all the pieces that I have instead of... <laughs> Random. I probably should have... Should I have saved? It doesn't really matter. I can hear you. Why? It was mine. It was mine. You're a failure. strong and true shall win the Keyblade. I am the true... You're saying my heart's weaker than his? Yep. For that instant it was. However, you can become stronger. And how would you know that? You don't have any hands. No fear in stepping through the door to darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunged there is a vast difference between being a dumbass and running into danger and being afraid of something but facing it anyway for good reason. Uh, give up your body. Let me into you, boy. That is all. That's what the creepy old man is saying. Let your heart. It's your evil Obi Wan. Darkness itself. The way he's shumbling towards Riku is super creepy. Yeah, if I finish. <laughs> oh, for a mom. Okay. 
Is this the normal way? Stop hitting me with magic. I am the boy. Yeah, I, I just want to triple check. This is the normal way. We were here, and it just spawned more heartless. <laughs> I was sliding. Slip and slide. Get back here, coward. I'll kill you all. Well, that's not nice. Kill them. Smack them all to death. Max items for Donald! Which actually was reminding me, I did want to... Uh... Oh, do I need to equip it? No? It says... He said... Max items. Donald, I think the world lied to me. I think the world lied to me. It's had max items, yet I can't give. Poor Donald, but let's see. Is there anything that I want to swap in for the boy? We want to basically have... Goofy be super brick wall, take all the damage. But we also probably don't want to lower his AP all that much. Yeah, we basically cannot lower his AP, so... Ifrit's horn is probably going to stay. Though I could put on the guard earring. Basically the same, and it gives him more things. And I think he's the one of the most abilities besides me. And my uh, setup is mostly for... Diddly D. Anyway. <laughs> fire ring or fi <laughs> I was like reading that for it was like fire or fire uh, E and A. They just flipped around an E and made it an A and it became stronger. Grammar holds abilities, I suppose. Well, let's take a look at totally item increased Donald. Totally item increased. Totally not a lie. Magic armament's probably not going to be replaced. Anything that increases is magic. Nope. Then we'll stay. Because I'm basically going full on damage. Well, I think I should probably go save. Just in case. Let's go save. So that we don't have to watch a creepy guy shumble towards Riku. I, in fact, wasn't that a issue that people had with like, uh, I'm not sure if it's like this Kingdom Hearts or previous releases of Kingdom Hearts. I just know that at some point there is a boss that if you play casually and don't overlevel like me, uh, might very well wreck you. And you'll have to get the, uh, darkness speech over and over and over again. Every time you die with no way to skip him. Which I find hilarious. Well, let's venture into the dark. Another lift stop. But I thought I was here. Deja vu, I have been in this place before. Uh, I guess let's to the upper level. Why did it change to the lower level? Let's go to the castle gates and see what's here. I would like to smack you, but you are away. Away, away. Oh, I can't interact with that. But I want to interact with it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'll murder you all. If you're around a corner, you should not be stopping me from opening chests. Get down here so I can kill you. Flying enemies are Satan. In fact, I think the main reason they have so many flying enemies here is so that they won't fly off the level 
and die. Just another item. Force. Gravara. Force. Sora, use the force. I messed up, but I survive. I failed successfully. That is my power, failing successfully. Let's do the thing, I guess. Just wander around. Hello and welcome to waiting around, screaming. Why does this look like the lament configuration on the floor? Oh boy! Took your sweet damn time, didn't you? You're using gravity on the gravity wizards. And it stops! That's mean. Oh, you have to reinitiate it. What, could you not program in a thing? Oh, all enemies dead, continue. So that at least there would be an illusion that you're not wasting my time? Like, at that point, why not just have a cutscene... Uh, like, the play, like, oh, the lift is moving. Oh no, you've been ambushed. And then you go into a combat scenario. And then another cutscene plays, finishing the trip. You don't have to actually have the thing go. I've never used a cottage in this game. What do they even do? I think it's for, like, healing and stuff. Yay, another Thundaga G. Thundaga G whiz. Well, now I feel like I have to go back so I can do the other thing. The other lift. How dare you make the way forward look like not the way forward, you bastards. That's one of the things that actually tripped me up, uh, in... I don't want to go through the lift, but I guess we'll have to. And, eh, fighting the... Actually, we can't. Okay. To hell we go! Oh. Nice. It knew that people would be annoyed by that, so they just added in a jump-off teleport! Yay! Good decision-making! This castle is circuitry. Is this, what, a Cybertronian castle? We'll go below. And then, after we go below, we will... Yes, don't focus on the enemy, Zora! You stupid shit, child man. Why, yes, enemies are attacking you. You totally would want to look at the switch that you can't even interact with! That's the thing that angers me the most. The game has made it a point to not let you interact with things during combat, yet you can still be locked on to something during combat. That's annoying. Just have it become a non in like I uh, just have it do the thing. But just like if you're going to program that in that you can no longer interact with something because you're in combat mode, why not just have the combat mode lock on also not let you like lock on to that kind of thing. It just doesn't make sense. You're going to Go through the effort of programming in. No, I'm gonna land on that and go away. <laughs> I wanna kill things. But yeah, this just keeps so aggravating. That you go through the trouble of making programming in, no interacting with this thing, but you can still block onto it. 
Because I can only assume it has something to do with combat mode and non-combat mode. I can only assume that if you do... Ah, neat. But yeah, I can only assume that there is something in the programming where if you get into combat, the game recognizes, oh, you're in combat, and doesn't let you open chests or interact with switch thingies. Then why not just have it always be... Uh, like, just have them become non-lock-onable. Because if you're going to go through the trouble of making it so that you can't interact with things during combat for whatever... Excuse me. For whatever reason... Then surely... Making it so that you also... Because, like, interacting with things during combat would be, like, something that I would choose to do. It's something that I might want to do. But then, like, no, you have to fight the combat scenarios play our game <laughs> but then for whatever reason they don't let you actually ignore them at the same time it's just weird it hurts my soul but there we go now we can continue on the proper way ignore the weapons well we can't exactly ignore the weapons because uh, I hate that so much Why can you lock on to thing when you cannot interact with thing? It makes no sense. It hurts my soul. It's just little quirks like that that get on my nerves. Vast swaths of bad design could probably parade in front of my eyes and my mind would immediately lock on to something like that. Something pretty much inconsequential because really, how many times are you actually going to have an interactable object in a combat scenario that would be close enough to you that you might lock on to it instead of enemies during that combat scenario? It's probably a rare circumstance that isn't all that prevalent and might have just a few niche moments of existence but it still is there and it bothers me they obviously went through the bother of programming in oh yeah you can't open chests or interact with switches and other objects during combat maybe like I don't even know why they wouldn't maybe so if enemies spawn you like move a wall or something like I don't know how many times do that even happen? How many how many times does that even happen? Because like when you're doing the little wall mm, uh, the little wall bubble maze puzzle with beast in this area, like not in this area, but this level down below into the bubble water upside down world, it would kind of make sense. Oh, maybe we don't want people to be able to interact with things so that they can escape the enemies or something. I don't know just makes no sense to me. So many. So many. I find it funny. That one, it actually speeds up. The one that you... <laughs> but that other one that leads you to just a, oh yeah, gravity this. No, you have to watch all of that. I think maybe that was the first lift they invented for this game and uh, they wanted to show the entire journey for each and every one but then they realized oh that'll probably get really old really fast so they cut down on it a Thundara ring we can't go that way because there's nothing to do so we must go through the door or do we? We came from the lift stop, didn't we? Nope. Give them numbers or something. Lift stop number four. So that I know which lift stop I've been in before. Or at the very least, might be able to 
vaguely off the top of my head go, oh yeah, this is different. My mild critiques and pet peeves exist. But at the same time, when you play an RPG for long periods of time, like, you, you kind of get to the point where you're like, come on. Like, why is there a missing node? That is obviously in a, a place where a node would go. If for symmetry, why is it missing? How dare you? Environment man, you are fired. We must embrace cinema sins and become assholes. Schrodinger's asshole. Is it a joke? Is it a critique? Well, you can't critique my jokey critique that is not a joke, but is a critique and a joke. I don't know why you gave me this, but okay. Thank you, Donald. <laughs> Random buff out of nowhere. By God! Donald Duck with the arrow! Wait, and there was a you. You exist. Gravity. Osmos Osmosis G. Jones. Great. Now I have the weird thought of Donald, Sora, and Goofy becoming small and going into somebody's body. Man, now I want a now I want a magic school bus world. Except you have to fight <gasps> a heartless magic school bus. And you have to pilot the actual magic school bus and fight the heartless oh, that would be, be cool. I missed that one. I am a failure. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Disney has to own the Magic School Bus by this point, right? They own everything. Disney probably thinks they own everything. Then again, in this world of copyright where you can literally say lyrics that you have never heard the song they go to before, you might not even know you are saying lyrics to a song, but the people who own the song will be like, you said lyrics to our song, so we own your video now. Because, you know, that's what the true core of copyright is. Not to actually protect people stealing your stuff. But just to be like, hey, we're assholes. Copyright can be stupid. I was going to open a chest. And now I'm sad because I don't think there is a Lilo and Stitch world in these games. Like, how dare you? Once again, I truly love not being able to do anything because they're over a fucking pit and I don't want to jump down because I just raised this block! I raised the block and I don't want to fall down and have to backtrack around again. Enemies should, like, super rubber band back into place above solid ground. They should not be able to fly away. I don't even know what that did. That, like, one lift a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, that probably is now moved. So instead of, so we have to go and make it up, and then we'll go to the right instead of to the left. But as I was saying, I don't think there's a Lilo and Stitch world. At the very least, I've never, like, really heard of it, if it does exist. It's probably in one of the, I don't know, maybe Birth by Sleep. I know that Stitch shows up in the second game, maybe? But he's like one of those, I'm drifting. I don't have a home. Well, we went the right way. Oh, well. Maybe. Or maybe this is just a cutscene, for cutscene's sake. So, I see the path has emerged at last. Yes. The keyhole to the darkness. She just doesn't notice that he has two voices now. And the Heartless will overrun this world. 
What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Evil Keyblade. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Impossible. The princesses of heart are all here. It must be her. Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. The king's fools are here. I'm a jester, thank you very much. Them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses. You're taking a long time. Why is he glowing white? He's supposed to be the bad guy. Ah, eh, we'll fight Maleficent, and then... I'm sure we'll end up down again sometime. And we can take away way here, here, or there, way. Any moment now, the final keyhole will be unsealed. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. After coming this far, there's no way we're gonna let that happen. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Me, the mistress of all evil! Ah, uh, Maleficent is such a wonderful villain. Hello. Nope, you're not knocking me off. Meteors of Heaven, huh? Cool. Ow. We gotta kill these guys because they're in the way. Your rock is falling down. Magic rock is falling down. It's like they knew these enemies would be the most practical for defending. Ow, ow. Okay, that's not good. Ho, ho, ho. Yep. Meteors of heaven. I think that's a lie. Those are meteors of hell. Die. Now, this is a two part boss fight. I will not obey. I will smack your face with Olympus. Just grab all of Olympus and smack you. Whoa! Ah. Well, what's what's over here? Oh, just these guys? Come on, guys. We eat these guys for breakfast. Whoop! Ah. <laughs> Smackety smack. She gave a lot of experience. If only I could refight her a million times. You know, your boss fight's kind of basic, I'll think. Learn to cheer and add some report. Ah, we can save. I'm mildly apprehensive of that just because I, that is one of the few things I remember. A portal exists around this room to one of the super bosses. I know that's just the way to go to actually fight like Maleficent in dragon form, but uh, I flash back. I flash back to bad times. Underleveled, fighting the mysterious figure. I'm having a heart attack. My cholesterol. It's overflowing. Some help. Riku. Quit being a bitch. Come home. Yes, a keyblade. But unlike yours, this keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! It's e <laughs> unlike yours, it can do evil things. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself. 
Although kind of bullshit that this is it. This power. Riku gives her the ability to become the dragon. She should have been able to do turn into the dragon on her own. She doesn't need no frickin' emo boy. Maleficent should be able to turn into a dragon on her own. Ow. Ow. Gonna smack you in the face. We haven't fought the Hydra yet. When does the Hydra come in? Is that a second game? Jesus. Oh, I can't even see anything. That's your true power. Taking away my ability to frickin' see. I bring my friends back, cause I'm a, I'm a man. A petty man. I'm Disney. Watch. You know it'd be funny if in like Kingdom Hearts 3, they do a weird reveal. I never told you my full name, huh? I'm Sora Disney. Might you kindly stop? Projectiles, your homings, your area of effects. They matter not to me, Maleficent. I win. My win. Bye bye, Maleficent. It would be kind of funny if her body just stayed there for the rest of the game. I would find it amusing. But nope, she just becomes a scorch mark. How ironic. She was just another puppet after all. What? The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating away at her. Huh. Fitting in for such a fool. Obtained fire glow. Oh, this place is gonna be a nightmare in the future, because this is where the the bastard lives. Although now that we have a a save point here, we could probably easily Exit, re-enter, and go to that one place. I'm gonna quickly save. We'll go ahead and gummy ship out. Come back in. Go to the library. Head down to the lift. Go up the lift and see if we go a different way, maybe. Library. Library. Oh wait, I th was this the was this the one? I forget. There's like five billion freaking ways to go in this place. All of them are named Lift Stop, and I hate it. Nope, this wait, but uh, I did miss this. So, not a fruitless expedition after all. Another thing that makes me sad: there's probably not an Atlantis world. Come on, Atlantis would be super awesome. Heartless Atlantis monsters? <laughs> I guess the real question would be who would be the companion for the level?
Quit wasting magic. They're dead. I don't even know what was hitting me. Get out of here. Yeah, there's like so many Disney worlds they could have done, but probably never fully did. It's just sad. God's sakes, it took them to Kingdom Hearts 3 to do frickin'... Or maybe it was down. Was it down? No, it wasn't down. Which way is the truth? Which way is the answer? Beat him up. Beat him up. Kill him. Eat his bright crystal in front of him. I'm trying to think, which way is the right way to go for that that one? I feel confused. Bastard! You should not be able to knock me off. It's bullshit. I know I'm, like, completely going the wrong way, but chest. Huh. Chest. Open sesame seeds. Haste to G. To haste to chaste. I'm still trying to think. Which way is the diddly D? Because I want to go that one alternate way with the long winding. You have to watch this cutscene. Maybe it is down to the lower level, and then we go up or something. I don't know. I just want answers. Oh, yeah, and then we go up and then do the thing. Maybe... Nope, it was for that. And then the other thing leads to the waterway. Then where the hell is that one? We did it today! I know we did it today. I'm just trying to understand. Understand! The concept of where the hell that one went. So, let's try it again. Maybe I was just dumb. Where, where? Am I dumb? No, there was, just, there was a flying platform there. Now it's gone. There are no doors that I'm missing. There are no doors that I'm missing. I know it was one, diddly dee. And it was over here on this side. Was it that other? Oh, was it that other one? Was it that other one? In the library. Was it that one? Feck off. I just spawned and I'm going to attack you. Part of me thinks that we already tried this one. But hey, this is what happens when all the diddly D things are named Pit Stop! <laughs> Name them different things so I can mildly understand. Can we get this yet? What's the answer to this? Why is it so weird? Do I have to spin it, like, super hard? I don't know. Maybe gravity? Stop. 
Maybe time stop. I don't know. You can lock on to it, so it obviously wants me to do something. I hate these weird puzzle things. Okay. I don't even really know what I did. Cast random spells until you win. My. You could have just given me the item right off the bat, because that's just stupid. It's not even like the little platforms where they're kind of out of sight, so you might miss it. It's just... Eh? You know it's here. You know you have to do something. What is that? You don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? It just feels weird and stupid to me. Ah, crap, I just realized. If we go far enough, we're gonna have to fight Chernabog. I, I remember not liking his fight. We came all this way. For this 2.0. Is, is it the Ultima Blade? Rama Belt? Well, it is a thing. What the hell is a Rama Belt? Reduces lightning damage by 40% and raises max AP. Not worth it to me. I'm in the... Excuse me. Sure, it's really good against electricity, I guess, but... I'll just take defense and damage. Just to clean, take less damage overall. Yeah, sure, it also raises max AP. Which reminds me again. Increase items on Donald. Still a lie. Did I run into a glitch? Did I misread? Oh, that item. Not equipment. He can just hold more potions. In fact, speaking on that, do you guys even hold anything more? Nope, you used them all. I'm gonna take all your items. Give to me. Uh... To stock with you. I'm taking all your items with me. And then once we get into a boss battle, I'll just fling a bunch of items at my dudes. But now we can go back to the gummy ship because we found that. And we'll go back and jump back into the place it wants us to go. Bootleg quick travel. Fast travel. Bazinga. And we're probably going to be heading into another boss battle, our third one, so... Items galore, everybody! Hmm. That way these guys can just drown in potions and fear. And then I'll forget to take the items off, and in normal encounters, they'll be like, Oh, I have to use an item! When we could just... Let Donald heal us! I should probably save again, because I put all those items on. See, this is how my brain works. My brain goes, Oh, I should do this! That's how my brain works. My brain goes, I should do this! And then, I think of another thing, and then I go do that, and then I have to do the first thing again. Exactly. I could fall down, but I think that just takes me back down, and I don't want to do that. And the Grand Hall! They literally just have a small little place to annoy you. That's the worst. Snow White, who we haven't met this game. Uh, Alice, who we did. Beast, who we haven't. Sleeping Beauty, who we haven't. Cinderella, who we haven't. Jasmine, who we have. Funnily enough... What's her name from The Little Mermaid isn't here? Ariel. Ariel isn't here despite being... Con That's a funny thing. Ariel's not here. Mulan's not here. I guess this is going for... Well, 
I was going to say, oh, this must be going for a bunch of Disney classics. But Jasmine's here, and Jasmine is... Uh, like, at the time of this, wouldn't have been a super-duper Disney classic, I don't think. But even if, if, basically, if Jasmine is here, Aladdin and Ariel definitely should be, well, Aladdin and Ariel, uh, my brain, Mulan and Ariel should be here, if they're going for that, but I guess they just kind of picked the most well-known Disney princesses, and Ariel is kind of B-tier, and Mulan's not up there all that much, even if Mulan's pretty good. Blah, blah, blah. This weird... Very selective Disney princesses here. I'm here to beat you up. Kyrie. Ah! That's a nice way to foreshadow. Wall. Kyrie. Kyrie. Open your eyes. Open your it's eyes. No use. That girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. I thought you were trying what? to save her. You, you're not Riku. The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. The princess? Kyrie's a princess? Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It is time she awakened. Whoever you are, let Riku go. Give him back his heart. But first, you must give the princess back her heart. Oh no, heart surgery! What? Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. Kyrie's heart rests within you. Hey, it's like uh, he said. Pieces of. inside me? Your heart will be in your friend's heart and I stuff. I know all that there is to know. Even though you didn't know Tell this me, when you fought him, you? The, fought Sora it the first time. Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. He does okay. I was gonna say he didn't even have his weapon, and then he drew it while he ran. Should have used magic. It's what I built you for. So. I shall, shall release, release you now, princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. I refuse. Sora! I say no, emo boy. Forget it. There's no way you're taking Harry's heart. And then... <laughs> Kyrie disappears. Time for combat. Dang it. Dang it, my combo missed. I smack you. <laughs> Show me your power. Come on. <laughs> I wonder if they had Ansem's voice actor actually record everything that Riku is like grunting the stage stuff. That's not good. Camera, yeah, it'd be nice if you would lock on to the asshole. This camera system is terrible. Here it comes. Here I come to beat you up, emo boy. I can kind of farm experience off him a little bit. The intended way of fighting him, obviously. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's I don't believe in you. 
<laughs> believe in the me that doesn't believe in you. Here it comes. <laughs> Beat you up all day to Sunday. I am way too overleveled, I think. I didn't even see how much experience you get. Smack him in the freeze frame. I learned Ragnarok. Riku! Swerry! Swerry! What? Oh, the keyhole! It was me. I was the princess all along. It won't work. The keyhole's not finished yet. What can we do? Did he Maybe just throw the keyblade? It sounded like he did. I think you're right. If we can free her heart. But. We have to unlock her heart with Riku's keyblade. Why it's still staying there, I don't know. It should have disappeared. Hearts. Well, I, I guess wonder. maybe. I mean, there is like the field Sora? of keyblades I saw in like promotional material for like one of the later games. So maybe if a keyblade wielder dies, their keyblade sticks around. It's just like a ha ha. Hee hee ho ho. Hold on! I will unlock the heart. I know what I'm doing. Seppuku! <laughs> you know, this would have more weight if we actually interacted with any of the other princesses. Like... Jasmine a little bit, Alice basically not at all. So it's just like, pieces of their heart wouldn't exist in my heart. Kyrie at least makes sense because she's Sora's friend. Imagine waking up and the first thing you see after being asleep for god knows how long is your friend just dying. Now I want... If only they had the... If only they had the balls to have it have been that Sora canonically goes, kills Riku, and it's just like, my friend, oh well, kills himself to revive uh, Kairi. Then you play as Kairi wielding the Keyblade to go and beat up Ansem and it brings back Sora, and Sora's like, that means that Riku's out there too. Sequel bait. They won't let him go! But no, they just... Keep just pushing Kyrie so away forever, you Eternity. Have awakened at last, Princess. The keyhole is now complete. You have served your purpose, but now it's over. But now it's over. Do you think we can stop him all by ourselves? I don't know. Another step. Talks a lot as he Impossible. takes multiple steps. No. Uh. You won't use me for this! Riku! You've got to run! The Heartless are coming! <laughs> run away! Run away! Finally, Riku... What about the key? Fitting that the moment that Kairi gets her heart back... Riku is like, okay, I'll be a good guy now. <laughs> Otherwise, he's just a prick to Sora. Yeah, yeah, I'm a heartless. Where? I find it funny that even though giving back their hearts, they're just still locked away. Yeah, I'm a heartless. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a heartless. Yeah. Wah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a heartless. Wait, this is this is my way. I don't think so. Yeah. 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 
I'm heartless. The most heartless of heartless. Can't you see? Wah. 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 Let's see. Wah. More jumping off. Wah. Oh, I actually almost landed. It's just me, your friendly neighborhood, uh, heartless. Gyri, hurry! I can't leave them behind. And we can't. If I was confident in my humor skills, all all this time I would have just gone <laughs> for Donald's dialogue. But I respect people's ears. My heartless is after us! My horrible, inconsistent Goofy! I'll take care of him! <laughs> Immediately runs away. Where? Where? It's me! The heartless! Wee! I like that he just bonks me on the head and doesn't fight me. Which one, Sora? This time I'll protect you. Why would they be fighting me though? Still think it would have been so much cooler if we actually played as Kyrie. Trying to save Sora. And then Sora became a Kyrie, real boy. Thank you. It was what? A minute? <laughs> I thought you were dead. It's only been like a minute. This really is a Disney movie. He doesn't even... Oh, hey! The Beast. Go now! Come with us! I told you before. I'm not leaving without Belle. Oh, go! The Heartless are coming. All right. Let's get out of here. They get to the gummy ship and Donald goes, Oh, wait, we can't bring Kyrie along. It's the rules. You know, just like we wouldn't let Riku come along. Granted, Tell Riku wouldn't happened. have said yes anyway, but still. <laughs> Ansem is a bastard man. So the darkness is flowing out of that keyhole. No wonder there are more and more heartless everywhere. The only way to stop them is... Close seal the, the keyhole, key right? Hole. Maybe, but no one knows what will happen once it's sealed. Well, we can't just stay here. We have to do something. I've got a friend back there. That's right. You have one more friend to worry about. I know. I'll must go have been into the, the keyhole. Princess's hearts. Just like that keyhole you saw. Of course, without Kyrie's heart, it remained incomplete. Once that keyblade was destroyed, the princess's hearts should have been freed. Don't worry, Sora. If anyone can save your friend, you can. Now well, let's talk to everyone. It seems the other princesses have been freed as well. Jasmine apparently hasn't returned to Agrabah, and I suspect the others are still in the castle too. Not sure why, but the Heartless are getting stronger. New types of Heartless are popping up all over the place. If anything happens to us, I know we can count on you, Sora. I thought the keyhole would strengthen the darkness. I mean, the darkness is strong, but still, it's almost as if someone is holding the darkness back. I wonder how Riku's doing. He's too busy being a ghost. A go 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 Ah, this must be the stronger heartless they're talking about. They actually do seem stronger. Leave me alone. I'm killing people here. Alright, 
but first we're gonna go to the Dalmatian home and return the puppies we got, see if we can get a reward. Then we're going to go and uh, maybe see if the D D D D kind of thing. Try to see if there's anything, because I remember there's something important about the underground thing below the this wizard tower. That little waterway. I know there's something important down there. We see this every time. Get Mega Elixir. They gave me a Mega Elixir for saving so many of their puppies. We could have ransomed them individually. <laughs> I fear that this is going to be a indication of how strong the individual monsters will be in the Hades Cup. The enemies are still alive. Why are you spawning more? It's a move. Beat up the Weber. Donald, you, you're getting so much in the way of my guys, Donald. Let's go ahead and beat these guys up to give decent experience. Ah, uh, they flip. They're like an amoeba. Ooh, that wyverns were single cell. Uh, entities. Get out of here, uglies. The uglies must die. Come on. Beat up the wizard. Beat up the witch. We found the witch. May we burn. Come on. Destroy! Destroy! You are a robot. You are a robot. Well, that's kind of bullshit. Why can you walk all the time to cast magic? That's supposed to be my ability. Mine and mine alone. I completely forgot these existed. Mainly because I never really came through this section while I had high jump. Red room, green room. But what about the blue room? But what about the lightish red room? But at least we can do this. Got a treasure chest. More oracle. But I want to move my camera. And one thing I got was another torn page for the book. That definitely looks new, so that leaves only one, I do believe. So let's go do this. A clearing crowded with tree stumps. Take a look. My clearing. Oh, it's owl. I forget, this one was weird. I don't remember this minigame much. A donkey named Dio is his friend and can't go near to you. 
and magic. Magic? Hey. This here is my bouncy spot. We can bounce around here all day. Nothing beats bouncing. You wanna bounce too, Sora? It's lots of fun. Okay. To bounce with the finest, you'll need some fine pointers from the finest. Ooh. But Owl, you don't bounce around like we do. I'm afraid you're right. I can't master everything, I suppose. <laughs> no tutorial for me. Bounce this way, please! Tigger bounce. Watch Tigger's bouncing pattern, then follow his lead. Here's a little warm-up. So it's basically just an obstacle course, I believe. Oh, they took away my high jump. I thought I would have my high jump. <laughs> uh, you can't just have jumping mechanics and then change them on the fly like that. Like, if this entire area restricted the high jump, I would kind of have expected that. I did. No, it gets tricky. Yeah, if only because the camera is fucking stupid. Don't, like, teleport the camera. God damn it. Give me back my high jump, bastards. Oh, it just jumped back there. It's Simon Says, but it hurts my brain. Give me coyote time. Fuck off. Coyote time would be super nice. You know, when you have jumping challenges. Especially because the platforming kind of sucks without the high jump. The high jump is what makes the platforming manageable. Platforming without the high jump is literally one of my least favorite parts of this game. You're doing fantastical! This'll be the last one! have a teleporting camera. You've got mighty good at bouncing, Sora. Right, Roo? Hey, Digger, I think he's ready for the big one. Oh, there's only one way to find out. Digger's giant pot. Whack the nuts back at the pot to shatter it. Once again, I hate that it restricts my goddamn high jump. I hate that it restricts my goddamn high jump so much. Oh, come on, just have them have a consistent diddly D. 
timing on those is so stupid. Floaty ass nuts. I hate them. I hate this. Oh, you can't fall off. The timing is so weird. I hate it. The floatiness of those goddamn things. I hate it. Why are they so floaty? What Satan banana made these things? And it also puts you on the edge. Mainly just like, what is the the thing needed to activate the jump strike versus the poke? At the same time, and I swear, I hate this. Just a thing above jump attack. Dang it. I hate it so much. The timing is so weird. They're super floating nut busters. Come on. What's the point of a lock on if you're not actually going to attack the thing I'm locked on to? Insipid. <laughs> Hate that bloody thing. But I got an AP up, so that's something. Let's go try the seesaw! I was going to... Okay. This tree doesn't have honey, I think. Then why are you looking at it? Why are you looking at it like you know it? <laughs> Who'll be your seesaw partner? I guess Tigger. I just need to figure out where does the game want me to go? Does the game want me to go with that? Let's try Rue. What be the purpose of this? Does it have to do with the fruit? I don't think so. Okay, that's just shenanigans. like that. Mine. And a shield 2G. There are probably other secrets. I wonder what this is. Evil. It's Satan, I think. I didn't even need that. Maybe it's because they kind of expected you to get this before you get the glide, maybe. Perhaps. So I already got that, so that remains... Come on. What? Come on, come on, come on. 
See? Doesn't want me to collect the nuts. So maybe it doesn't want me to collect the nuts. Why would you have, like, just that one nut? Yo, owl. What about the nuts? What about the nuts? There's something to return. Well, now I have to make sure that I am or am not getting the nut. Can I super collect them? Or is it only one at a time? Those are all going on me. Me, me alone. Why can't I just collect them all? Why is it one by one? This is evil. This is certifiably evil from the evil commission of evil. Headed up by evil councilman evil. I'm right here, game. I already turned in the nut. I give. Give. That was stupid. <laughs> I have no patience for bad hitboxes with collectibles. If I cannot immediately grab the thing, like, I'm um, trying to words evade me, but basically, if I cannot collect all of them at once, then screw you. I hit them, they mine. You cannot, I refuse, cannot shenanigan like that. Shenanigan me like that. I should not have to roll at nuts to pick them up. I think that might be all the nuts. Yep, look at all these nuts. We couldn't have done it without you. I don't even know what that's for. Turn into an item. Mithril. Which leaves only one page left. Let's go. Well, first I'll go ahead and use all the the dealies like defense up will be used on me because I'm the one that's going to be beaten up the most power on me AP up on me and oh another AP up me 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 alone only me critical plus and counterattack Seems good. Jackpot, receive more money and stuff. I don't think that's really important. And I'm not really a fan of the... Ooh, press diddly for things to happen. Not really a fan of that. We'll quickly save. We might have another summon, maybe. I don't use summons, like, ever, because you have to scroll down to them and then use them, and they can only be used under certain circumstances, so it's just kind of, eh. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know... So Mushu exists in this world. Mushu is here. Yeah, you mean to tell me that little D. Let's see, uh, Lord Fortune. Or was it a different one? What item was that? I thought it was... I thought it was something flame. But it might just be Lord Fortune. It might be, but it doesn't seem that good. Uh, but it seems like a nice compromise, so sure. More magic, but less physical damage, but it's freaking Donald Duck. He doesn't do physical damage. To the gummy ship! And, uh, from the looks of it, no Colosseum. Yeah, but let's go anyway, just to make sure, because I don't want Hades to show up. 
want Hades to show up so I can remind him to stay hydrated. And stay hydrated. I know that Dill and Dale, or whatever the names are, would be like, there's another tournament! But I don't trust this game. This game lies to me. This game lies to me all the time. Only. Well, back to Hollow Bastion. I don't know exactly why we left. <laughs> That's the thing. I guess it's just like, hey, Heartless appearing. Maybe go to Agrabah? Like, what's the point? They said she didn't return to Agrabah. I'm just like, diddly dee, 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 dee. Maybe we should go talk to Sid. Maybe. And then Sid will be like, you have to go here for that. Maybe. Now we're back to the realm of what is that one random trigger that will activate my ability to move forward? In Pokemon Crystal, it was talking to the radio station guy. Yo, Sid. Shit's frozen. Sid, I need to go back to Hollow Bastion. I don't think I can let you do that, kid. The Heartless there are multiplying by the minute. They'd eat your ship up. Then what can we do? Simple. Go around them instead of through them. Install a new navigation gummy and take a new route. A new gummy from where? The secret waterway. When I came here nine years ago, I stored it there in case I ever needed it. Never thought a kid would be the one to use it. Well, that explains it. We <laughs> had to talk to Sid so that we can go to the waterway. Since we're going to the waterway, preemptive, stay hydrated. Go to the waterway. Get hydrated. You need water to stay swole. I don't need to attack my enemies. I can just walk past them and they can't keep up. Hello, Kyrie. You're not a ghost, are you? What a mysterious mural. It's almost hypnotizing. Then I shall go to the hypnotizing mural. Open Sesamoon! A, a Navi Gummy. It was stuck in the wall. How that works, nobody knows. Gaze upon my power to change murals by mere existence. Let's go back and join the others. We should rest up. Okay. We never need to rest up. We're anime Alive. protagonists. At the end of the tunnel. Oh, your grandma's story, right? That's right. We were together. You know what's funny? I looked everywhere for you, but you were with me all along. I don't Finally, think that's a, together, a sign to stop looking. <laughs> now, it's time to get Riku back. But he's here with you right you now. Think you don't need to be the same. same again between us. Riku's lost his. When I turned into a heartless, you saved me. Remember? I was you don't lost need in to darkness. show us again. I it was like thirty find my minutes way. ago. As I stumbled through the dark, I started forgetting things. My friends, who I was, the darkness almost swallowed me. But then I heard a voice. Your voice. You brought me back. I didn't want to just forget Actually, about you, Actually, I think Sora. that was McDonald's. That's it! Our hearts are connected. And the light from our hearts broke through the darkness. I saw that light. I think that's what saved me. No matter how deep the darkness, a light shines within. I guess it's more than just a fairy tale. You are living well, fairy tales, quite literally. You can't go. Why not? Because it's way too dangerous. Come on, Sora. We made it this far by sticking together. Actually, we made you it this far by me looking for you. Kyrie, even if we're apart, we're not alone anymore. 
right? Our hearts are always there. I can't help? You'd kind You're of be already in helping. Way. <laughs> okay. You win. Take this. It has a face. It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. Don't worry, I will. Even though he already Promise? crushed it in his hands. Promise. Don't ever forget. Wherever you go, I'm always with you. Oath Keeper. Sora, Kyrie, I'm sorry. You're damn where I should be, stupid kid. Is this the afterworld? Well, sure ain't heaven. I'm not ready. Not yet. Not until I see Sora and Kyrie one last time. Riku, can you hear me? I'll be there soon. Who is that? I have the other Keyblade. The one that belongs to this world. He stole Giratina's Keyblade? I've been trying to get through to you, but the darkness in your heart kept me away. Who are you? What's happened to me? Your heart won the battle against darkness, but it was too late for your body. That's why you're here. In this place of darkness, where hearts are gathered. And then put through the lemon squeezer to make heart juice. So what do I do? The door of darkness will open soon, and it's a door we can't enter. It has to be closed from both sides. To do this, you need two keys and two hearts. Maybe you're here for the same reason I am. Maybe it was fate. Maybe I'm Mickey Mouse, Ma! Fate, huh? Then tell me. Are Sor and Kyrie okay? Don't you feel the echoes of their hearts? You already know the answer. Look inside your own heart. Well, that's just creepy. It's like the nightmare sequence from Twilight Princess. Okay. I believe you, creepy voice in the darkness. That says my body is gone. Let's go rest with the others. Actually, we'll just stand here. I shall exit, re-enter, and go talk to Sid. Because we need to still install the gummy. Yo, Sid, we found your fetch quest. Now give us the ability to fight. Though I do find it funny that it almost seems like he ripped the navigation gummy out of our gummy ship so that we couldn't run off to fight the Heartless. You found it? All right, I'll go fix up your ship. Actually, I'm gonna steal it. Wahaha! <laughs> this is now Sid Hearts. Kingdom Sid. All set, you can go anytime. Kid, I gotta say, I wish you didn't have to face all this danger. Well, too bad I face all the danger. Let's see if we can synthesize any anything new. If probably not. Nope, does not look like anything new. Probably save just in case. Just in case. And now we'll head off, talking to no one. There are new whirlpool near Traverse Town. I wonder where it leads. Somewhere weird powers emanating from the worlds. It might be worth revisiting some places again. Well, I guess let's try and aim for that whirlpool. God. Just 
destroy them all. Destroy them all. I think even the rings are more dangerous. But I'm going to the wormhole. Imagine if there was like God. Imagine if Disney bought D and D. So Disney needs to keep their hands off of everything. Make your own new stuff. Quit buying new old things. a miracle that this game got made, even if the Final Fantasy elements are kind of dropped later in the series. It becomes slowly less and less Final Fantasy and Disney meet and more just uh, Disney, but an anime boy watches the events of Tangle and Frozen in real time fallen into a Disney movie, and I have no input on what happened. The worst these guys. Imagine your life, and it's basically just a really immersive Disney movie, and you're there. It's like Disney movie VR, but you can't do anything, you can't change anything, it's just Disney movies. Forever. Like, the Final Fantasy characters get all the story, and all the Disney characters just don't do anything. Because they have to be kept in the dark. It's just, yeah, evil things. Come help me uh, fulfill a part of your story, a part of your movie, or if you're Kingdom Hearts 3, just your movie. I'm not sure how much that applies to Kingdom Hearts 2. I think there's some of that, oh, it's just the movie, but... Sora, Donald, and Goofy are there in the background. This is ridiculous at times. We're here to tell a story, not watch a Disney movie. For God's sakes, I wonder if anybody right into the problem where they're streaming Kingdom Hearts 3 and then, like, Disney copyrights them. You're watching a Disney movie. Uncut on your channel. This is like, no, this is a video game that you probably mandated Square Enix to make exactly like your movies. It's just silly. Silly, silly. Maybe that's the reason why Lilo and Stitch doesn't have a prominent world. Because I don't think there is a Lilo and Stitch world. It's either there and very minor, or not all that memorable, or it's not there at all. I know Stitch is in one of the later games. I think Kingdom Hearts 2? He makes a cameo appearance, maybe? But I don't know. Know, but they have a high score, and that's the important thing. Hey, Beast, we're back. Where's Belle? Still in the castle. I'm against her will? No, I think she stayed for a reason. The other princesses are inside as well. I wonder why. Let's go ask them. You may need my strength. I'll go with you. And I think I feel safe putting the beast in because there shouldn't be any more of those shenanigan trinity pieces. 
because I think we did all the trinities that were immediately available in this world, and if not, we can easily grab them diddly d later. Kind of annoying that they took away our save points, but uh, I guess the Heartless just really hate save points. They just beat up our save points. What did the save points ever do? What? Come to think of it, what are the save points within the universe? Because, like, some of them are gummy ship exit points and entry points, but only if you find them. day that you get to kill Snorlax in a non-Pokemon game. Ever magical. Well, that was cool. He spawned in an attack. Oh, what? I guess there was another enemy there. Oh, invisible bastards. I think it just disappeared because we didn't kill it. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's why you're here, you bastard. Yeah, that's gonna mean that you can't actually attack them. I'm trying to kill other enemies. And the invisible guy comes in. Come Ruin my day. I'm not sure if he was a unique enemy, like a rare enemy or what, but he was mean. I don't like him. Let's go get the library save point. There's a painting. Let's look at the painting. I want to look at the bottom. Let me look at the painting. All things considered, that's kind of a shitty painting. It doesn't really portray anything. Boo! Actually, I'm her sister, Toll. Oh, Bell. With an E at the end. You've come to seal the keyhole, right? Please be careful. The darkness is raging deep inside. We've been holding it back, but we can't hold out much longer. We'll take care of it. This is for you. Use it to face the darkness as the beast has. Divine Rose. And I think you can kind of just miss this place if you just go directly to the, uh, the forward emblem room. See, equipment. Divine Rose. Or Oath Keeper. I wasn't using Oath Keeper this entire time. The Divine Rose is actually super powerful. Not as much magic, but I'm going for strength. Sorry, Kyrie, I forgot to equip your your special dealie. But uh, what he said. How dare you? No magic for you. I can't see anything because the beast is jumping around. Nope, I'm not dealing with you. Evil surrounds me. And I shall run. Woohoo! Or as Goofy would say, <laughs> I hate that they can attack right up the gate. I can't attack right up the gate. They have a shield, dude. Well, it's like attacking on turn one of Yu-Gi-Oh. 
cheating, and I won't stand for it. I shall write Tetsuya Nomura myself, and then follow the mailman so I can find his home and steal all his chocolate. Tetsuya Nomura will never know the taste of chocolate again. Watch just my luck, he won't like chocolate, and the world will laugh at me. Line enemies, next to ledges, specifically. Ledges that hold the thing that I need to progress, but can't get because it's a switch, and game says no, you can't progress because the enemies exist. No flipping switches while enemies exist. It's like the enemies are just like, you go to flip the switch, and they grab hold of your hand and go, no. And that's it. That is the basis for this world. And nobody likes it. Least of all me. And least of all you. Just look at the beast. He's not happy with this at all. It'd be hilarious if Ansem just appeared on this lift and curb stomped us. Surprise, boss battle. That, that makes me think. Has there ever been, like, a moment like this where you're kind of heading to a destination, you know where to go? Like, oh yes, this is the obvious way to go for story reasons. But then, as you're heading to the place, surprise, the final boss appears. Trying to cut you off. And just to be like, no, you will not get there. I just think it would be funny. Oh, he has a little... Is that a rose thing? Uh, can I go to... Ah, I was gonna go... Is there a first-person mode in this? Uh, for, from a distance, that looked like a rose pendant holding this cape on. But no, it's just a... Like an oval. Kind of a... Pink-ish beige oval. I don't know. Color. Forced backtracking. Beat them all up. They're ugly. No one loves them. Once again, I can lock on to think can't interact in battle. In battle, you can lock on to them. But in battle, you can't interact with them. So why can we lock on to them if we can't interact with them? It makes no sense. Scientists of the world say, bad. And the scientists of me say, stupid player, you already hit that thing. But I don't know how much of this has been reset. I don't know if the... If the Heartless have been mucking about with the, the switches. If anything, it would be kind of cool if the Heartless were mucking about with the switches and puzzles. Sorry, you don't need to heal. You're all alone. No help for you, goof. Does your son even exist in this timeline? Where is Max? I don't think Max exists. Max does not exist in this world. Never be. It's just kind of hilarious that most of the enemies are just dying by cholera for rattle. Yeah, that's the rule. Also, that second guy came out of nowhere. I'm trying to kill your friend. Stop. 
I'm just trying to hit this dude, and the guy's just like, No, you're not gonna hit my friend. I am not even fly. Fuck off. I'm just trying to get to a place, and these guys are like, I'm a flyer, and I get to attack right out of the gate, so I'm going to come and interrupt your journey with damage. There needs to be, like, I don't know, five minutes of downtime before they can do anything. Sora, please hurry. Darkness is pouring from the keyhole. It's all we can do just to hold back the darkness. I don't know how long we can manage even that. All right, I'm on my way. We're counting on you, Keyblade Master. In the meantime, we'll do what we can, too. We've been awaiting for you, Keyblade Master. Where's Ansem? Gone. When the keyhole appeared, darkness poured out of it. It swallowed Ansem and he disappeared. Though Ansem is gone, the flood of darkness hasn't stopped. We're working together to hold it back. I cannot forget the look on his face. As the darkness engulfed him, he was smiling. Because he's a psychopathic man-man. The worst kind of man. You man? You stupid, stupid man! I'm just gonna ignore him. Well, I guess you beat him, really beat you down, so... Beat him up a little bit. I think we have to go through most of this area to unlock the Hades Cup. Because I think this guy appears in the Hades Cup. Back his horn. Why do you have more health than Maleficent? Like, maybe he doesn't have as much health as Dragon Maleficent, but Jesus. This is a lot of health, my dude. Oh, 
Destroy. 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 Annoying that you Well, have that. Get back to work. Back back to work some more. Mega Arts. Uh, now let's go and seal that big keyhole. Sora, you did it. Ah, I was like, who said that? What are you guys doing here? We came in Sid's, Sid's ship. This is our childhood. Oh, this is our childhood home. We wanted to see it again. It's in worse shape than I feared. It used to be so peaceful. Don't worry. If we defeat Ansem, all should be restored, including your island. Really? All this time, Sora just doesn't care about his mom. But it also means goodbye. Once the worlds are restored, they're all going to be separated again. Everyone will go back to where they came from. Then I'll visit you guys with my gummy ship. It's not that simple. Before all this, you didn't know about the other worlds, right? Because every world was isolated. Impassable walls divided them. The Heartless destroyed those walls. But if the worlds return, so will the walls. Which means gummy ships will be useless. So you're saying we'll never... We may never meet again. But we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, I'll do my our best to forget bring you. Us together again. Leon. Besides, I couldn't forget you even if I wanted to. What's that supposed to mean? Whatever you want it to mean, boy. Hurry! Come and close the keyhole! Sora, good luck. You'll need it. Hollow Bastion, Shield. Thank you, Sora. I think the darkness has begun to weaken. But I can feel a powerful darkness growing somewhere far away. It's the heart of the darkness. It must be where Ansem went. Then we'll, we'll take the gummy ship and deal with both Ansem and the Heartless. A worthy answer, Keyblade Master. We offer this power to aid you in battle. Sora, your courage can bring back our worlds. Once the darkness is gone, all should return to its original state. Kairi will be back on the island? Most certainly, and you should be too. I can't go home till I find Riku and the king. Well, that's that. Ish. To the Gami ship! There's a tournament being held. The competition's a lot tougher now, so be careful. We probably won't survive. 
so we might as well see what the Hades Cup is like. Phil wasn't happy that I lost you. He said I was getting soft. Hades Cup and question mark question mark. I'm not even gonna try question mark question mark until I can beat the Hades Cup. Which seed do you wanna start at? 49th, I guess. Let's see how tough you guys are. First one, not terrible. But considering how tough Cloud was last time, I'm sure things are going to get hard. There's still three do these uh, three combo these guys, so not terribly difficult. It'll come down to the bosses, I'm sure. I haven't seen you guys in a while, hammer legs. Beat up the legs. Be gone, legs. It's all about hands now. Don't know why it's called that. Dirty calls. What is the bad contract? I wonder what it's like, like, uh, counted as when it comes to this killing the heartless. I don't have the timing down for this, it's basically a juggle. I think you, the way to cheese it is to get the highest level of the shield spell, the air spell. You're entering alone this time. I find it funny that we never question Leon and the others being here, but we question them being at Hola Bastion. How'd you get here? I don't know how they get here. How they get to Hall of Bastion? How do they get to Olympus Coliseum? I doubt it. It's a tournament. We're supposed to fight each other to the death. I am the victoire. We have healing magic and you're a ninja. Ah, Genji shield for Goofy. Yay. Be gone. Heal. I'm gonna quickly heal because these guys scared me. We're going from the 49th seed. We might, well, this is still gonna take a while. I find it funny that counter attack just allows me to ding, ding, ding off of 
attack things like that. Nothing to it. It's just like ding, 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 and then this enemies die around me. <laughs> Bad union. <laughs> Stop jumping around and die! Same thing to you. Find a better union. Somewhere far, far away. We entered even another... Oh, Cerberus? Behemoth. Oh. I just noticed that the Cell Games Arena disappeared. So I figured that had to mean something. Come on. Why they let this guy in, I'll never know. It's like Olympus doesn't know what a Heartless is. In fact, I think they don't. Beat up the horn. Come on. Donald. Beat up the horn. I might obliterate us some. Man, this at least will be a source for grinding. Beat him up. That's rude. That's extra rude. Why can't we bring the beast in to fight at the Colosseum? Seems only fair. No help will find you. Not even from me, your friend. Get up the horn. Get up the horn. Beat up the horn so that I can get a shield at the last moment. Heal. Game's rude. Now we're back to beat up the horn. How dare you bow your head and knock me off your back. Once again, how dare you? Get out of here. It's harder to kill than Cloud, like three times over, yet it gives the same amount of experience. Shenanigans, I say. Grand shenanigans. of your friends. I hate that they can move so quickly. They're spellcasters. They shouldn't have to do that. 
Did you ever see a wizard be able to do a triathlon? No. Obviously, these nocturnes are using steroids. We'll have to take away their yacht. It's the only answer. The only one that makes any kind of inclination sense. Ah, full guard armor. It's been a while. Beat up Megatron's hand. That's the power of the keyblade. That's the power of just mashing. Well, that's just mean heal nocturnes and a hard to kill enemy. Especially since it can turn itself invincible. What is even the purpose of this guy besides being annoying? This is just bad game design. I sure do love not being able to tell my allies, hey, you can't do anything, go away. It's just a whack a mole. It's the worst thing ever. It's binding of Isaac whack a moles. See ya. See ya. Gotta kill them all. Just gotta slide on it. Ooh -ha. Stealth sneak. Oh, yeah, you. Game. Fuck off of that camera. Shit. I want to kill the heal man. Lock on to other things, game. Please! Please! This camera is so stupid. I really dislike the nocturnes. Uh, game, please stop taking away my control of the camera. I beg of you. Well, now magic is useless. At least they're not heals. Get out of here, Billy. But once again, for Daisy, the wife that you've left behind and weren't planning on telling her where you were going. Get over here. We're not even halfway through yet. Hey, new thing that we would have found if we went to the proper place. I'm a I'm a fire a fire emblem character in Smash. Counter, counter, counter. Ha! 
wall. Wall. We must fight the wall. The ultimate enemy. And I think the boss round. Now, Cerberus? Yep. Once again, the camera's being absolutely dog shit. Once again, if the enemy's icon is directly above, for the love of God, jump attack up. Don't know how they bit me when I was above them. Also, not sure how I'm supposed to dodge some of these attacks when I'm air comboing. I'm in the air doing a combo. Directly above, for the love of God, air attack. Why is it so finicky? I guess it is true. He, Hercules, did weaken Cerberus for us. Okay, that is bullshit, game. That little smoky smokes are trying to predict where I'm going to be. Like, it's one thing to be like, oh, immediately here, but two steps ahead, stop it. game was not built for air combos. Here's an attack that you should be able to dodge, but you're in the air, so you can't dodge it. You have to finish your combo with it. Don't know when Cerberus could shoot meteors. This really is a Final Fantasy game. beat you. Really need that. <laughs> need to grind more. At least it's upgrading things and giving items as we go along. Sky Raiders. <laughs> Come on! 
I am being attacked by all sides. And the auto lock system is so stupid. I hate it. What there needs to be is like a quick select system for the auto lock so that you can like, I want to attack this one now. But there really isn't, and it's terrible. Kill the ghost, dude. Donald quit hitting the ghost out of my combo, for the love of God. Donald does that so much. Well, okay, he doesn't do it so much, but he does it noticeably. And I hate it. Whenever he does it, I immediately notice I would have killed that guy. If it weren't for you, Donald, you are a traitor to the cause. Your king is going to try you for treason. For aiding and abetting the enemy. Because so many of them would be dead. Could have died so much sooner. You're just trying to inflict more casualties upon our side, Donald. McDonald's. Shadow X? Basically, just keeps respawning. Shenanigans. Obviously, this is just them spawning in more. It's not even the same one over and over again. Cheating. Phil, why are you allowing this? Obviously, we should bring Cloud in to help us fight these guys. It would only be fair. Halfway there. <laughs> the Avengers! I wonder what the names for these, like, uh... These tiers in the tournaments are, like, Japanese. If they localize them a lot or what. Would be interesting to know. Well... I dodge game. Stop being mean. Well, since you're offering to die. Amra, I hate you. Get out of here. I heal myself. Black flap. That just sounds weird. Once again, this game just does not deal with aerial enemies well. I hate it. When I can, like, kill them super easily. Sure, they're fine. But then there's a lot of them, and they're trying to gang up on me. Yeah. Hey. Get out of here. Get out of here. Kill the 
ghosts. <laughs> you ever just teleport into a sword mid-swing? Air Corsair. Get out of here, weapon. I also don't like this pirate ship. They're just in the air for so long and I can't even hit them that much. And crippling them doesn't even really do that much. It's like, oh, you, basically it's destroyed the the cannons to stop like that one attack. Cloud and Leon. Well, that's cheating. That's the best you can do. Also cheating. It's over. It's over. It's over. You guys are very annoying. Huh. Once again, camera, please. Get this. I hate that they can attack at the same bloody time. I'm being hunted. I also hate that they can just like strike out. But they're blocks. When some of them really should be carried. Again, now Goofy is the one that's knocking him away. At least I can full combo you now. That's fine. Some moves. Goofy! Knocking the enemy out of the way of the combo! I'm not sure how you'd fix that, but you'd think that would be a major problem. Get him up in the corner. Don't let him e equip his super blade. No way. Get out of here. Okay, Leon and Cloud is a scary duo, but I got Lionheart, so it's all okay. Let's say 18 ish more levels, I think. Yeah. I hate 
fat body. So much annoying. Invincibility on enemies is just aggravating. Also aggravating is when allies get in the way of my attacks. Donald just pushing the Heartless away. Guys, please. How about for me right now and stop getting in my way? Nice leveling up for everyone. Kind of annoying they can turn on a dime. Damn agile for fat dudes. Nothing to it. False angels. Why is the freaking fat bodies here? It's like they just knew. These are the worst enemies in the game. Throw them at the player. that they automatically go into a rage mode auto lock when you lower their health enough. Quit running away! Get out of here. Get the mostest out of here. Great, now it's gonna be a billion of these. I hate the contextual stuff on some of the attacks, like what's going to do a thrust or a slide, or just a normal attack. Also doesn't help that like, enemies like this that are kind of flying don't seem to trigger some things. And it's just like, bleh. Combat is so bleh in this game sometimes. The minor annoyances pile up and up and up. Get out of here. Heal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get out of here. I wonder who will be number 10. Oh. Hello, Chernobog Jr. Once again, cementing my hatred for enemies that just go, uh, immediate attack upon spawn. <laughs> Luckily, fat bandits don't like to do the. Uh, actually, I don't have it. So I'm gonna look at you. As much as the fat bodies. Smack, smack, kill. Kill! So many of the invincible from the front dudes. It is the worst. Stop. Come on. Literally the worst. Ugh! 
sadly the little oh I can still hit them from the top thing only seems to work. If I can manage to if they're like low health. Oh hey, it's the same thing but more. Again, you're in the middle of combos. Well, too bad, we're gonna hit you anyway. We're gonna do a thing that you can't really dodge. Ooh, max accessories for Goofy. That'll be super good. The answer is no. Elder, Invisible 3, and Angel Star. They're easy to call as invisibles. I like bullshit, I say. Let's get him locked onto the nearest! Oh! Game! It's so aggravating. They just come at you, and then it's like, oh, I'm good. The one that you're locked onto, I'm not even locked onto, the one that's just very far away. I hate this. I forget how you dodged that. Hey, it's nice that Leaf Bracer's working, eh? I thought Leaf Bracer was supposed to be the thing that stops enemies from being able to kick me out of my healing animation. But it feels like they do it all the time. Yo, hey, how you doing, everybody? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got a minute? Hades, Lord of the Dead. Nice to see you. Hey, guess what? I got a place for you. <laughs> That's a nice intro. Hey, how you doing? I'm Hades, Lord hey, of the Dead. I've got a place for you. Down under! Okay, I just need to wear him out, I guess. Because I'm not doing any damage, I think. Or maybe he just has so much health, it extends beyond the other bar. That's likely. There is no color beyond purple, and he just has enough health that it is beyond anyway. See, now that's nice. It gives me enough time to get out of my air combo to run away. Never mind. Kinda, sorta. Feel the heat. <laughs> Feel the heat. Hey, you having fun yet? That's it. That's it. I find it funny, he's the only one of the Heartless Council to really get away with things. Like, at the very least, he's alive, even if we beat him. Lying down. Take that! 
He has a stinking finger gun. He's like that one guy from One Piece, of which there are like, what, 900 named characters in One Piece? Help, help, help! Starting to get warmed up here. I kind of like his chill attitude. It's kind of cool that there's actually a boss fight. I wonder how many people were surprised by this back in the day. Like, if you do the Hades Cup. Well, I mean, it's kind of 50 50 if you think about it. The Phil Cup doesn't end with you fighting Phil. The Pegasus Cup doesn't end with you fighting Pegasus. Hey, you having fun yet? Ha, come on. Uh, that's it. Donald, draw. Heal. Okay, hey. That's it. Heal. That's it. Thank you for taking the hit, Donald. Hey. You're starting to get warmed up. But it's just cool to fight Hades. Especially because it's kind of like an actual boss fight. Instead of Ursula or other some stupids. He actually has patterns and moves that you can learn. Oh, well, that's how you do it. You just need to stay close to it. That's it. Donald! That's it. That's it. Knocking it back in his face. And <laughs> the screams of pain and anguish on his ears. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now we're actually getting to him. He's super angry. Up here. Take that. Take that. I don't think I will. Like, even though this is like a terrible Hades, as Hades is go, he's a great character, he's just a terrible Hades. Yes, it is. Terrible Hades. Great character. And then I think that's kind of implied to be, I guess, the... The heartless munching away at him. I mean, he survives. It's not really screams of agony. Okay, I would like to attack this enemy. Once again, the enemies that are in the air are really annoying to fight. But we're in the top ten seeds, so... Doing decent up in the Hades Cup. But I think, like, uh, for the rest of the Hades Cup challenges, I won't do them on stream just because they're kind of repetitive. 
you basically the only point to stream any of the Olympus stuff would be the boss fights, but then you only do them once. Like the question mark, question mark, question mark should be Sephiroth, and he's up there with uh, the the super bosses. So we'll definitely do him sometime. Nothing to it. Destroy these guys as quick as possible. I hate these guys. Come on! I hate the lock on system so much. I want to kill the things. Let me kill things. These things fly around so much. Why are you just so obsessed with me? Okay, yeah, um, no! These guys! Them! Yes! Game's like, no, you want to look at the invisible snake? No, I want to kill the dudes that are the biggest danger to me. And the game just refused to not look at this jerk. Also, kind of hate it. His HP is all the way down. Want him dead, game. Game's kind of cheating there. <laughs> at that point, I might as well get rid of Scam, because if it's not actually going to show me how much health they have, what's the point? I don't care. Get out of here. Just despawn. Despawn, be gone. I know there's like trick magic things I can do, but I'm not wasting my mana on you. What is the second seed gonna be? That is my question. Because we beat Hades. Well, I guess maybe Hercules? Or would it be one of the Titans? I think the only Titan in this game is the Ice Titan, and I think it's its own fight. I find it funny. Hades isn't even the final fight in his own cup. And the funny thing is, he's actually... Hades so far has had the most health. If he tried to kill us, like, on his own, probably would have won, like, a long time ago. But no, he had Cloud try, and Cloud didn't win. If he only tried to kill us when we came to do a fill cup, he would have won. But I guess then Hercules would be like, why is Hades here at the fill cup? This is for junior heroes. Ew. Ew. I hate your projectile moves. Go away. Especially because you're gonna do that stupid. Ooh, I actually have a 5 billion health when I should be dead. Like a deal. There we go. Okay, that's one down. So I'm getting a lot of magic from this, I guess. Also, if it has a shadow, then why isn't why don't we see the light actually hitting it? We see the shadow, so light is hitting it and casting that shadow. So, what's the answer? Why can't we see the light? Ha! 
Again, I wish that the game would just, like, do the slide every time we fight things. But so selective. Contextual attacks. Well, that's rude. Spawning one of these dudes. And apparently also he has a last minute- Oh, I'm about to die, let me stop you from killing me button. That's rude. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's invincible while it does that attack. The ultimate fake difficulty. We'll just make it invincible. Alright, then what'll be the first seed? Come on, game! Stop getting in the way of my combos, allies, please! So stupid! I almost wish that you could, like, infinitely do the air combo if you hit the enemy once. Especially with the enemies the way they are now. Fuck off, fuck off, that's stupid. No, I hate the enemies that are just like, I don't want to take damage anymore. Also, I just realized, we only fought the squiggly big dude in Wonderland once. Nope, no attack for you. Quit knocking them away! Oh boy, the most of my favorite enemies. The assholes. Again, most of my favorite enemies. They spawn and disappear and they have these attacks they can just do whenever. So annoying! They have to spawn some. Why can they attack so fast? Again, stop knocking them out of the way. I hate that they're so fast. I hate that I'm targeting so many attacks. Gone. So much about the design philosophy of these enemies. Come on. Stop knocking them out of my combo. Especially when that combo is dictated by them being hit by the combo. And what is first seed or do we just win? Oh no. Rock Titan. Actually, I think this guy's easy. Well, comparatively. We'll get a lot of uh, peels up, I guess. The fucking 
boxes on this enemy, stupid. That is also kind of Damage by hitting his legs. I did not know. Like, seriously, this guy is so much easier than Hades, than Cerberus, than Cloud and Leon. That was Final Seed, the Rock Titan. I'll take it, I guess. It's a bunch of rubble. Congratulations, you are murderers. And now for the zero seed. We're the champs. <laughs> he put out his hair. I beat Cerberus and Hades and the Rock type. It all goes to show. Sora could have been Hercules within the Disney's Hercules canon, which is funky and weird and kind of stupid. Now let's see. Abilities. I wonder what the Trinity diddly D is. Trinity Limit. Channels the party's remaining MP to crash surra crush surrounding enemies. I am never going to use that. Just... Saying it out there. Guess I'll put on Slapshot and that. Let's see, did anything, anybody else get anything else? Cheer increases the summons MP gauge. We don't use that. Uh, in battle, that'll definitely help you. Treasure Magnet. Definitely that. And sure, Berserk. And we've unlocked another for you. Omega Arts raises all the things that I want. Let's see. Omega Arts, and it doesn't lower anything. 47.35. So Raven's Claw is replaced by Omega's Arts. And you get the Raven's Claw. Booyah. Oh, wait, and we also got weapons, didn't we? And other... Just, we got so much from this. Like, I got... The Lionheart, which is... I guess a midway between Oathkeeper and Divine Rose, but I'm keeping the Divine Rose. Donald didn't really get anything. But you got Genji Shield, which is just a better shield. A shield of surpassing offensive and defensive strength. And that... I think will be it for now. I did plan to try and beat, well, beat, try to get to this point of Kingdom Hearts sooner so I could do a bit of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. 
but I just don't feel like there'd be enough time. I just lose myself in Mystery Dungeon. So I guess I'll just, uh, well, we've been going for three hours. That's a decent length of a stream. So yeah, I think that was a nice time. We went, and, uh, well, yeah, we just went through Hollow Bastion, finished that, beat up Maleficent twice, beat up Riku. Although, once again, I take umbrage with the whole, oh... I needed to, me, Riku, the emo boy, n was the one to unlock Maleficent's dragon form. No, 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 no. She is a bad bitch, and she could turn into a dragon however which way she wanted. She did not need Riku's help. The fact that she was still a puppet to the Heartless from the beginning is an interesting thing. As well, still funny that Hades is the only one to survive. And probably because he ordered Maleficent to stay out of his business, which is kind of funny. The one that wanted to defeat Hercules and everyone on his own terms is the one that survived. And I find that hilarious. But yeah, there really wasn't much. It was mostly just progress in Hades Cup. And thoughts on the Hades Cup. It is a slog. It is a slog. The hardest part was probably Cerberus or Leon and Cloud. Leon and Cloud is annoying because they are auto-locking so hard. I'm not going to jump in the air and then I'm going to come right for you. Ma. And then, of course, Cloud's I'm going to be invincible and fly around. Of which, once again, I ask, hmm, I, wish I wonder where that was in Final Fantasy VII. Watch it actually be in Final Fantasy VII. I'm just an idiot. Then again, I don't think it happened in the movie. Something Children? Advent Children. Yeah, that's the movie. In which he was... In which Sephiroth was voiced by a boy band guy. I forget his name. And the band. I forget the guy's name. I forget the band's name. I live in the perfect state of mind. Ba -ba 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 -t 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 -t. Yeah. Overall, the Hades Cup is just a slog of annoying enemies. The dude's like, aha, uh -huh, I'm gonna be invincible, or things that are like, I'm super fast, and then I become invincible, intangible, and I'm gonna attack you anyway. Hades was a lot of fun, though. Hades was a fantastic boss. I'm gonna say it. Hades has been the best boss in the entire game up to this point. Oogie Boogie was kind of meh, especially his second form. His second form was interesting, but it wasn't really a boss fight. It was just a... Hey, jump up the level and smack the orbs a little bit. Well, it really wasn't a boss fight. Oogie Boogie was kind of egg. Eh, I would say he's decent. Oogie Boogie is a decent two-part boss fight. I just don't care for it that much. It's inoffensive. Average inoffensive. Ursula is kind of meh because, once again, I'm invincible. You need to cast magic on this thing and... Do I need to be hit by the fireball, or does it just break after uses? Nobody knows. The first part's very meh. Then fighting Super Ursula is stupid. I hate S Super Ursula. She is just auto-locking lightning bolts, hard to react to attacks. And once again, oh wow, Leaf Bracer. Not really Leaf Bracing. A part of me wonders, is Leaf Bracer working? Is there a trick to Leaf Bracer? I don't know. Captain Hook was kind of fun, but at the same time it was kind of a mess. Me running around, killing Heartless, and then trying to beat up on Captain Hook, and then he throws a present bomb. It was weird. But what else? What else? What else? What other bosses exist? Uh, well, I guess Maleficent. Maleficent is okay. Probably a bit, like, really, this game, it is all dependent on what level you are. If you don't, if you're not a good level, you are going to be in the world of hurt. This is not Dark Souls. You cannot really tangibly play Kingdom Hearts 1 and just, like, go through level one on the hardest difficulty and have a fun time. With Dark Souls, it seems more manageable. With this, Kingdom Hearts is very much dependent on leveling up, getting new abilities, new items, and just bulking up on strength. That's just it. 
ba 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 what? What other bosses are in this game? Cerberus is meh. Mainly just because, once again, dependent on your level. But when it comes to Hades, I think Hades is the only boss in this game that you can go into at a lower level and have a chance of beating, because you can learn his mechanics. And his mechanics aren't, like, extreme or anything. It's just, how do I react to this attack? And then you get it down. Like with the spinny spin, you get in close and run next to him. When it comes, then you just, like, run away as he, the Emperor's fire at you. So yeah, I think Hades, so far, is the most fun and balanced boss fight in the game so far that I've fought. I'm, uh... Then again, uh, the only th thing that would be level dependent on him, I think, would be your health. Because if you have enough health, then you can react more and learn more. And it also doesn't help that he's at the 10th seed of the Hades Cup. So if you go all the way down and then you lose to him, it would take a long time to get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that will do it for now. Primarily just because... I don't want to commit to the next part, and I kind of want to grind on the Hades Cup a little bit, just to ease up my pain and agony. <laughs> but yeah. For next stream, it will probably be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, because I am I love Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. In fact, the only reason that I'm doing Kingdom Hearts here is because I wanted to make progress, and now I'm at the good progress point where I can beat up on the Hades Cup. But let's see. Hey, Phil, anything new on the Hades Cup? Now, there are two of them. I think one is Sephiroth and one is the Ice Demon. Oh, you get to choose! That's extra nice. <coughs> you get to choose which seed you start at after you win. Okay, that's awesome. Hercules Cup Champion Trophy. And Hades Cup Champion Trophy. We'll quick, quickly leave, see if there's anything that happens out here. Probably not. What'd you say, boy? Nah, just the same. Oh. Thing? Oh. Okay, I don't know where that's at. I guess I'll have to save again, because I got more recalcum. Yeah. More than likely, I will take a small break from Kingdom Hearts, just so I can grind things up. We can look into trying to do the various things, finish them up. I will probably try and grind on the Hades Cup so I can enter Hades Cup solo, unlock whatever that gives me, and just do stuff like that. Just do some things that are kind of boring to watch on screen. Once again, probably not going to go for the Ultima weapon, because... That is way too much grinding. I will grind the Ansem reports. I will look for the the torn pages. I will do the super bosses. I am not going for the frickin' Ultima weapon again. It took me forever to do on PlayStation 3, and that was when I had far more time on my hands than I do now. But... That will be it for now. Once again, next time will be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. But I've been Neon Ice Wings, this has been Kingdom Hearts Final Mix Remix 1.5 Diddly Do HD 5 billion letters and numbers. If you want more from me, you can hit me up on YouTube at Neon Ice Wings, in which I try to post edited content once a decade. If you want the archived recordings of these streams so you can experience past streams and playthroughs, then, or just catch up on streams that you might have missed, you can hit those up at YouTube, Neon Icy Games. And if you're one of those people watching one of the archived footages on Neon Icy Games, you can watch these streams live on Twitch.tv, Neon Icy Wings. I usually try to stream basically every day that I can at 5 to 6 p.m. Well, starting 5 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. My stream does not go from just 5 to 6 p.m. because I do not squash time from three hours to fit in one hour. 
If you want other things from me, like art, you can hit me up on Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Tumblr, generally at Neon Icy Wings, though my Tumblr is like Icy Wings Art Corner or something like that. <laughs> I keep forgetting its name. But yes, I've been Neon Icy Wings. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.